It's Thursday night. You know what that means. We're going to be live at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as always, tonight is going to be chocked full of semi-useless information. So come join us. You may actually find a use for some of it. <laughs> Don't forget, if you like the theme music right here, Mr. Barry Spears Music, go check him out. <laughs> Love y'all. See you in a little bit. <laughs> Hi, Ash and Bardwitz. I can I can see my comments now. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank or me. <laughs> Hi, Aisley, and thank you for joining me and Bay Area Restaurant. Hi, Ash. I'm doing great today. <laughs> I, I I slept um till about. It was right around five o'clock that I got up. Hi, hi, Sandrock. Hi, sweetie. Thank you for joining me. And Sandy Johns. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't sleep last night, and uh, for whatever reason. So, oh, thank you, Ash. Thank you, thank you. I, I, I don't mind compliments at all. <laughs> You know, I'm a 61-year-old woman. I will take whatever I can get. <laughs> okay, Carlos. Um, let's have your question, but but I would I would uh, well, Ash. That is a complicated question. <laughs> Hi, DJ. Uh, toes? Mm, no, I don't have any toes actually. As you can see, there are no toes down there. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, Craig Anderson. Just being curious. Well, you can ask me a question, but I will tell you to be very careful. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're a, a little intolerant here. So be careful. Hi, Papa Bear and Deborah Addis and Martin Aaron and user 5524. Oh, thank you, Ash. Thank you for following me. I will, if when I get a free follow, and I'm, I might have one, I will follow you back and I'll tell you what I'll do, Ash. I, I will follow you right now. I will follow you from my alternate account. Because how I'm set up is I have a phone up here on the tripod that I'm broadcasting my live from my primary account. And then I have this phone down here with my alternate account where I read comments and I just followed you from my alternate account. Hi, Rude Dog 58 Thank you for joining us. Hi, Johnny and Just Cruising and Jeff Qualls and Macy Baby and Chicky. And that one I cannot read. <laughs> yeah, but when I, when I uh, get off my live, I always look at who followed me from my live. And I try to find follows to follow some of them back. So... I will, I will give you a follow back. Hi, hi Marlene. Hi, Shauna and Snoop Dogg. We got Snoop Dogg in the house. Are you kidding me? We love Snoop Dogg. <laughs> and Ash, I, like I said, I did already follow you on my alternate account. Hi, Jam and something and Alan Bias. <laughs> Ash, I'm going to tell you, you're lucky my moderators aren't here yet because they don't, they don't like comments like that. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Hi, Vicki Hank. That, that's, that's really cute, Ash, but my, my, I have, we, we, my moderators here, we don't even call them moderators. We actually refer to them as bouncers. <laughs> Because that's kind of what they do. 
Oh, hi, Lexi and Max. Thank you so much. You know, my, my daughter, Alexis, people call her Lexi. Now, I don't call her Lexi. And then I have a granddaughter that we call Lexi. <laughs> oh, that's, I'm just, I'm just kidding, Ash. You didn't say anything offensive. I'm just kidding. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Thank you so much. My hair is not naturally blonde. I will tell you, in fact, you can see my roots right now. My hair is actually black. Believe it or not, my natural hair color is black. But it's so gray now, it makes more sense to do it blonde. <laughs> there, Shelly. Shelly, I was just talking about you. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Thank you. What in the hillbilly nation is going on in here? <laughs> it's great. I love it. I am in Kentucky. And, um, where did that go? Arrow King, if you go back and watch my videos, I did a video this week. <laughs> I did a video this week that one of my friends, Pamela from Tennessee, actually originally did. And um, it, it, it's kind of about something like that. Oh, thank you, Ash. Thank you. Thank you, Jason Luck. Thank you, Jason Luck. <laughs> yeah, don't be deceived by images on TikTok. That's all I'm going to tell you. Because now for my lives, I do not use filters for my lives, but I do use the beauty, the, the beauty thing. <laughs> I think it takes about 10 years off of your appearance. <laughs> Thank you, Jason Luck. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Lord. Now my hair is all mine. It's just not my natural color. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 19. I don't even know what that says. Hi, Dustin. I don't have, I have on yoga socks. They're gray. <laughs> and be careful because my moderator, DJ Shelly Shell, is here. And she, she is very trigger happy. And remember what I just said, my moderators are not even, we don't even refer to them as moderators. We refer to them as bouncers. <laughs> yeah, they, they really got no, no tolerance. They have a zero tolerance policy. Hi, Carrie Boo. Hello there, sweetie. Um, Shelly, Ram Jam. Oh my God. Yeah, I think Errol King just, he, he used a bad word. So he, he, he's probably got to go there, Shelly. <laughs> he, he just followed me. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Smurfette. Hello, Smurfette. I was just, I was just talking about happy Thursday, Tony. Happy t t Thursday, Tony. Happy Thursday. Hello, Smurfette. Oh, hi from Tennessee. Hello there. I'm in Kentucky, Tony, is where I am. So we're neighbors. Hi, Tammy. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Well, you know, I'm on here to have fun. So I'm going to have fun with whatever I get thrown. <laughs> oh, hey, Shelly. Deuces. Hi, hi, Tim Black from West Virginia. Hello there. We love our West Virginia friends. Hi, Fresh Out the Farm. <laughs> That's a great name. I love that. Hi, Gail Boozer. Hi, Gail. Shelly, what does deuces mean? I think you can, I think you can let, uh, <laughs> that's right, Sean, that's right. Um, uh, 
Ash is wanting to tell me his pickup line. I just heard a really good line in a movie that I watched. And I'm trying to think of exactly, I had it written down actually, but I can't get to that. Um, um, it said, throw me a pickup line that you haven't road tested on anybody else yet. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, Sandu and Homesteaded and Faith. Thank you so much. Oh, it means bye to the troll. So that you, that's that's good. <laughs> oh, Jason Luck is saying it means goodbye. I didn't know that. I didn't know deuces meant. When did deuces? Why does deuces mean goodbye? This is new to me. I had no idea of this. <laughs> yeah, that cat ain't attacking anything, sweetie. <laughs> Oh, I always, I always uh, mention that that cat behind me is actually a very realistic stuffed animal that's made by a company called uh, Via Art, I think is the name of them. And you can find them on Amazon. <laughs> hey, hi, K Jung Two. Thank you for joining us. And user 1201, thank you so much for joining us. Do I know who Winnie the Pooh is? Yes, I know very well who Winnie the Pooh is. <laughs> oh my God, in fact, I have a book, a really good book called The Wisdom of Pooh. Hi, Jason, back to you. Oh. <laughs> oh god. That's that's really cute, Ash. That's I like that. That's very cute. Hi Bobby Lee. Hi Tony Lopez. Oh my god, Tony Lopez is saying hello to us from from uh the North Pole, Alaska. Oh, okay. Great idea, Smurfette. And we'll we'll get people to follow you from there. You know, I was going to say, on my backup account here, I just noticed when I logged on to it, I only need seven more followers. So if any of you guys will go to my backup account, it's still Gray C, but instead of 61, it's Gray C 1961. If some of you guys will go there and follow me from that alternate account, then I'll follow you back from there because I have plenty of follows, but I only need seven more followers to get to a thousand on that page. So then I'll have an alternate account. If something ever happens to this one, I'll be able to go live from. Hello there, wild six, wild six outlaw <laughs> from Scottsdale, Arizona. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you were on your backup. <laughs> yeah, if anybody that's here, my moderator, Smurfette747, if you guys can give her a follow, and you can give my moderator, DJ Shelly Shell, a follow too. Now, I don't know whether Shelly will follow you back or not. Um, SMHS, I don't know what that means. Hi, <laughs> bye, Paul. And Lee Denton, thank you for joining us. Hi, Rhode Island Ricky, thank you for joining us. And Rhode Island Vic Ricky just became the top viewer, <laughs> even over me on my alternate account. <laughs> Hi, Steve Matthews. Oh, uh, Rhode Island Ricky, thank you so much for sending a rose. That is really, really sweet. We do appreciate that. And you guys don't forget, tap your screen. I always forget to tell people that. Thank you, Ricky, for sending me likes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Rhode Island Ricky, and thank you so much for that. That is really nice. Hi, Jean Bill something and Lewis and Skull 66. Yeah, that was that was one of Brad's things that he used to say. That was from like the 60s or 70s, Shelley. It was 
skull, brother. <laughs> and I guess it just means everything's good. <laughs> if we're skull, then everything's good. I, I don't know why that is. Hi, Anthony J. Thank you for joining us. And Bruce Miller and Mike Kob uh, Kobolski and OBI. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Smurfette, for sending likes. Thank you. And Oh, Lord. Haven't seen Diane yet. Diane had a video that I was going to laugh about. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, Larry Haymaker. Thank you, Shelly, for sending likes. Oh, you're not a... Oh, okay. Let me fix that, Smurfette. Let me fix that. Let's fix that. There you go. Now you are. There you go. And whenever I, what I'll do, what I think I'll do is when I get to, which may be by next week, well, I probably won't do that. But um, I may, mm, yeah, I, I don't know how, I'll have to think about, hello, Damon Wall. Hello there, thank you for joining us. And thank you for the compliment. Um, hi, John Mole and Sailor and Zane Connie and Bruce Johnston. And thank you, Damon. Hi, Posty. Hi, Damon. Who is that? Oh, hi, Mr. Jim Allen. Shelly, thank you for sending likes. Wait. I am from Kentucky, actually. Hi, Posty. Hi there. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sailors Zen. Thank you so much. Um, Damon Wall, I, I just said earlier, that is a complicated question. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Jim Allen. Oh, from Fort Wayne, Indiana. You're a neighbor too. You're a neighbor too there, um, Jim Allen, because I'm in Kentucky. Oh, I just saw kindness. Oh, who was that? Oh, you, Damon, you're in California. Hi, David Gerald. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Smurfette, for sending likes. Um, daggone. I missed somebody and I, I think it was, might have been happiness and hope. Oh, kindness makes, hmm. kindness makes smiles. Thank you for joining us, sweetie. Thank you so much. Oh, I really like what, what kindness makes smiles has, you know, on her profile. It says, grateful people respect others. Ungrateful people disrespect others. Please be kind. I like that. I like that kindness makes smiles. I'm going to follow you from my alternate account, kindness. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, Lindsay, that is, it is an awesome saying. I really like that a lot. I really like that. Hi, Mustafa and Lucas Warner. Thank you for joining us. And Nancy, Nancy in Texas. We have another Texan joining us. Thank you. And Cornbread. Thank you, kindness makes smiles. Thank you for coming back. Hi, Chef D. Thank you for, for joining us. Hi, Becky. Hi, sweetie. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hi, Benson Ben703. Thank you for joining us. Hi. Oh, Ash came back. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Hi, Becky. So good to see you. Hi, Ash. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Jean Register. Thank you for joining us. And Ray Hooper, thank you. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Thank you for joining us. Yes, we missed you, Ash, for the five minutes that you were away. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Now Shelly's rejoining. Shelly, are you guys getting thrown off? Is there is there some glitch or something? Good to see you, Becky. Oh, I'm not even logged onto my watch. I I had it charging. Oh yeah, Smurfette's here. Hi Russ. Hi Ray Hooper. Thank you so much for joining us. But Oh, I do that all the time when I'm in somebody's live. I accidentally, when I'm tapping the screen, I swipe out of it all the time. Hey, Russ, thank you for joining us. Hi, mm, I don't know what that is. Chucky, maybe? It's just spelled different. Hi, Chucky, thank you for joining us. Um, but yeah, I, hi, Jed. Hi, Jed, thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, I was going to tell Diane when she gets here. I hope she gets here. Um, I went to the pallet store, Shelly. <laughs> I went to the pallet store this week and had um, not quite as bad a news as when, um, you know, I've told the story about when I was in Filene's basement with Jessica. I'm pretty sure it was Jessica that was with me and Alexis was on the phone and they broke the news to me that Filene's basement was closing. <laughs> Alexis told Jessica, she's like, oh my god, get her out of there. She'll have a panic attack. <laughs> no, my Aunt Iva, she, she hasn't been um, doing very well her blood pressure has been really high and she actually and this is so embarrassing and so awful but monday morning she actually called me <laughs> yeah absolutely lindsay absolutely but yeah her blood pressure has been really high well monday morning i didn't sleep sunday night and so I didn't fall asleep until probably about seven o'clock Monday morning. I've gotten back in that habit again, where I'm not sleeping at night and sleeping during the day again. And um, hi, Mary Jordan. Thank you for joining us. And um, anyway, she called me at nine o'clock on Monday morning. I had no memory of that phone call whatsoever but she called and asked me if i wanted to go with her because she was going to go to the doctor she had called and asked them if they could fit her in just to check her blood pressure because it had been running high over the weekend hi natalie thank you for joining us so anyway I don't know what I said to her, but anyway, I apparently told her I didn't want to go to Richmond with her, and I would have gone because I would have taken her to the doctor. Well, anyway, she took herself over there, and um, I'm really pretty disappointed that they took her blood pressure there. It was ridiculously high. It was 190-something over, uh, over 90. And um, so they had her just wait a little while and then they rechecked it. Well, then it was 200, if I'm not mistaken, it was 211 over like 114. She said, well, the doctor, you should wait and see the doctor. So she waited to see the doctor that doctor sent her out of there with her blood pressure that high and just told her to double the dose of her blood pressure medicine. I said, boy, he, he, he's, he's, got, he's got some nerve. 
I mean, most doctors would not want to, you know, they wouldn't want to be responsible for that and send her home like that. And she was taking double the dose and, and still it finally has started coming down a little bit today. I know, I know, I know Smurfette. Or at least have kept her there and made her lay down and see if they could get it down. No. And I've, I've been on to her about that doctor ever since I've lived here because when I first came here, I went to that doctor. And it was like, uh, no. This, this, this guy is not for me. <laughs> He's not a good doctor, in my opinion. And when my aunt goes there, she has to sit there sometimes for three hours waiting for her appointment and the waiting room's not full. And, but yeah, it's, I've tried to get her to switch to my doctor, which would be closer for her too, but just can't seem to get her to do it. She, she's, she's not big on change. You know, and I think about that. She's lived in this, this same town her entire life. And people that are like that many times are not real good with change. And she's like that. But she she has this thing, and, and you know, I'm guilty of it too. We have this thing that we think we're indestructible. And I was just talking to her about that today because you know, she's 76 years old now. She has never learned to just be still. You know, that's all she needs to do is just be still. And she worries constantly. And if anybody that I know, not that I've ever known, but of anybody that I know, she has less to worry about than anybody. I mean, and I mean, that doesn't happen by accident. Her and my Uncle Walter, you know, they, it's hard to, it's hard to just say they did everything right. That, that's not true. You know, that does, that doesn't always, especially when you have children and grandchildren. Yeah. But yeah, her life is, as good as anybody I know, or better. Better than most people that I know. I'm sorry, Ash, I don't know what you mean I don't feel that connection. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know, because I just now looked down, I don't know what you were commenting on. But anyway, well, on it. I just messed up here. Give me a second. I was actually trying. <laughs> hi, Dwayne. I didn't see you pop in. Oh, hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. That's why, that's why I went here because I didn't know who, who was still here. Hi, Brenda. Thank you so much for coming. I loved, Brenda, I love that Elvis video that you did. That was so beautiful. It actually, I, I was actually having, <laughs> it, it, it absolutely gave me chills. I, I loved it. It was really beautiful. Hi, Leah. Hi, Leah. Oh, yeah, and Smurfette. I was going to tell you, too, um, while I'm thinking about it, I love that video that you did that that um, um, the anti-Trump um, you, well, you're welcome to join us but I'll tell you we, we don't have political discussions here but you're still welcome to join us <laughs> hi Ryan Bloom thank you for joining us thank you and that's that's probably rude of me to make an assumption that just because somebody's name is political means that they're gonna be political 
Hi, James from Alabama. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. We love Alabama. Oh, Smurfette, that video, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal this, but I will credit you for it. But that thing where you did the video on your alternate account and then duetted it on your, your primary account and asked people to follow you on your alternate account, I'm gonna steal that if you don't mind. And I will credit you with it though. That was brilliant. That was a brilliant idea. I don't know that I've ever seen anybody do that before. That I thought that was really, really brilliant. Hi, Joseph. Thank you so much for joining us. Brenda, do you, Brenda, do you have an alternate account? Have you set up an alternate account? And for any of you, because I know Smurfette would not mind, but... Yeah, I don't remember ever seeing it before. I don't remember ever seeing that before, Smurfette. But Brenda, or anybody that has an alternate account, what what Smurfette did that I thought was really, well, I, I'm, you know, Brenda, it's just a good idea to have an alternate account. And, and what I do is like, all I do on there, I don't resp I don't comment back on videos or resp or very, unless somebody, I can see that somebody's accidentally messaged me over there instead of on my other account. But, um, oh, hello, user 5557. Thank you. I, th I think we're all doing pretty good. <laughs> we're all doing pretty good, I think. Hi, uh, what was that? I missed somebody that popped in. Hi, Mad Cow. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Oh, hi, Sweet Pea. Hi, Sweet Pea. What happened? Why is your your name gone on your u? Why is it username now? Hi, Sharose. Hi, Apple Rich. Thank you for joining us. That's a pretty cool name. Hi there. Um. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Brenda, if you just make an alternate account, and what I do is I just post some of the same videos that are on my other account, because that way, if anything ever happens, and then you can get the people who are following you now, and, and Smurfette, what she did is she took one of the videos from her alternate account. She made a video on her alternate account then she went to her main count account and duetted that video and asked people to follow her on the alternate account. I thought that was a really good way to do that. Oh, because your account is private? Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, hi, Sharos. Thank you for popping in. There's not much ever up around here. <laughs> we just... <laughs> I said that in my promo tonight that, um, as usual, we always have a wealth of semi-useless information over here. No, actually, I said it would be chocked full of semi-useless information. <laughs> oh, great. That's great. That's great, Smurfette. I was just saying, I don't know if I said it before you came or not. I only need seven more followers on the alternate account. And um, it'll be it'll be up to a thousand. That that'll give me a little peace of mind. That I you know because I mean I don't. Hi Karen Saint Karen Saint Amand. Hi C. Hi C. Thank you for joining us. I like that name. Even I can get that. Yeah yeah. Well probably from here tonight because I follow I've, I've been following some people back hi uh, Devin I how I always answer that or I my new answer to that is it's complicated that's very complicated Devin hi Tammy Hammond thank you for joining us hi Debbie Thank you for joining us. Hi, yeah, Debbie5539, thank you for joining us. And I'm still 
drinking my coffee tonight, Shelly and Smurfette, because I didn't fall asleep until about noon today, and I was up from 11 o'clock yesterday morning until about noon today. Finally, I went to sleep and I slept until 4.55. So I'm still drinking my coffee. <laughs> Hi, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know those, we've talked about that before, Smurfette. About how those videos with that Shelly, there's no reason because because that's just I've gotten myself in kind of thrown off into that schedule now I'm kind of yeah so that's the only reason hi Nashville thank you for joining us I didn't see the rest of what that said I still haven't seen Diane yet but um Anyway, let's see here. She had, hi Dwayne, thank you for joining us. I didn't see you pop in. And Michael Stapp, thank you. And Kim, thank you so much. And user 5924, thank you for joining us. I've, I've been trying to do that, go to my, my list of, of people who are on here so that I can not, because I miss people sometimes. But, um, yeah, that, that, cause that, def, that video has definitely got a call to action in it. And it's, I think, and it's a really good way too, because I've seen people do videos and ask you to follow them on their alternate account and they don't even have a link to their alternate account. I mean, they tell you what it is, you know, or write it in text on the screen but that doesn't allow you to just click and go there, so. Okay, Smurfette, and Smurfette, I am so sorry that I missed your live, but I, I, I completely forgot that it was Monday and I fell asleep and didn't even hear my alarm, so. But, so I'm sorry I missed your live Monday, or I think I did. Pretty sure it was this week that I did that. Monday was a bad day for me. I was not sleeping right. Hi, Jim Dandy. Hi, Jim Dandy. Thank you for joining us. Oh. Oh, sorry, Smurfette. I, I, I was really out of it on Monday. I was so out of it Monday that I thought yesterday was Tuesday because I completely missed a day. I get like that when I get my sleep schedule off like this. Hi, always be kind. Thank you for joining us. That, that's, I like that name. Hi, Harold Stewart and Tim Bergerson. Thank you. Love you. Love you, Smurfette. Have a good live and I'll see you Monday night. And next week, Smurfette, I'm probably going to be from my Aunt Mildred's. I was supposed to do that this week, but we postponed. Hi, Tim. Thank you for joining us. Hi, user 2438. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Princess Panda. Thank you. Good evening, Harold Stewart. Thank you so much for joining us. Princess Panda. Oh, I'm looking. Let's see here. Brenda, I'm looking to see if I'm following you. Brenda, I'm not following you from my alternate account. I'm going to go ahead and follow you from there right now. I just followed you from my alternate account, Brenda. Hi, user 6285. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I've been trying to do that. Like when people come on here and follow me, on my live. I try to just go ahead and follow them from my alternate account. Hi, Caudle. I knew that picture looked familiar. I knew that picture that was on there looked familiar, but I can't see it. Hi, sweetie. How was Kings Island? Did you have fun? Shelly Alexis took uh, Gabby and Kimmy and Carter and Peyton to Kings Island this week. Did you have fun at Kings Island? 
It was good. Tell me what ride, what rides did you ride, Carter? You know, my favorite is the Beast, and I think it's gone. Isn't the Beast gone now? That was my favorite ride at Kings Island. I love the Beast. The Beast and the Mean Streak at Cedar Point. It was the best. <laughs> what was your favorite ride that you rode? Did you ride the roller coasters? Hi, hi, Jeff. The Beast? It's still there? Somebody told me that the Beast wasn't there anymore. That is my very favorite roller coaster. That is my very favorite. I love that roller coaster. Carter, I've probably ridden the Beast, my guess is probably a hundred times or more. Because when I used to go to Kings Island, all I did was just ride the Beast over and over all day long. And then I would, we would take a break once in a while and go ride a couple of other things. But pretty much all day, we just stood in line and rode the beast over and over. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda, for sending lives. Hi, Bethany, Bethany and Vern and, oh, Brenda, thank you. There she is, there. Yeah, Carter, Carter rides the beast. Diane. <laughs> I was like that when I was young, too. I, I was, I guess that's like being a daredevil. I, I don't know what that's called, but yeah, we like the roller coasters. Hi, Ash. Thank you for coming back. Diane, I kept looking for you because I was going to talk about something. And the funny thing is, we had somebody in here that I don't remember if that's the person that Shelly had to eject or not, but uh, your video about a thousand dollars for a foot picture. <laughs> oh my God. Ash, I, I've, I've decided that I don't answer that question anymore. <laughs> I don't answer that question anymore. <laughs> Oh my God. But, um, <laughs> I know, I know. And it was so funny. <laughs> Here's what I was thinking about and I didn't get to use it. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I, I don't answer that question because I don't like for people to, to hear the answer to it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> rock stars. Rock stars 67. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> uh, uh, well, now that can't be good. James Stalker 256. <laughs> Got, gotta, gotta give you credit there, James. <laughs> Unless that's right. Hi, Bobby Hayes. Um, anyway, um, <laughs> I swear, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about this later, what I'm laughing about. Um, hi, Steve92. Thank you for joining us. Um, <laughs> That would be terrible if that was actually that person's last name. It would be terrible on many for many reasons. But Diane, I went to the palette store yesterday. I went yesterday. And in fact, for a dollar... <laughs> hi. Oh, hi, Steve92. Thank you for joining us. Um... Yeah, but we got I got some bad news from the palette store, but I have this great new like really chunky tripod that I got at the palette store for one dollar. <laughs> and it's really great. It's not very tall. My guess is it's probably mm, probably about four feet. You know, it's only as high as it goes, but like it's really chunky, you know, like the poles are like really, really chunky and, and it already had the phone holder, everything. 
had all the attachments with it for one dollar. So I was really happy about that. I also got a webcam. I also got a web... Uh, uh, I got a webcam, but um, it's got a, you have to plug it in by USB, USB. So I don't know whether it'll actually work with my phone. I, I don't know why I would need it to work up my phone. You just got a laptop from the auction house? That's great, Shelly. Hi, Bob Gennaro. Shelly, do, Shelly, do you use a laptop for anything? What do you use a laptop for when you have an iPad and an iPhone or a phone? Because I just can't seem to find anything that I actually need a laptop for. Hi, Terrence Campbell. I am doing just fine, thank you. Hi, Beeves. Hi, hi, Peyton. Hi, Peyton. Peyton's here, you guys. Peyton, did you did you like Kings Island? Thank you, Coda. Um, thank you for sending. Are you you and Carter tap tapping the screen? Because we're up to twelve hundred likes. So you guys, Carter, if Carter's still here, let me look and see if Carter's still here. Bees is there? No, Carter must have left. Yeah, Peyton, tap tap the screen for me, sweetie. And Carter told me that you guys rode the Beast, my favorite roller coaster, my very favorite roller coaster. Well, I haven't. Oh, well, that's nice, Coda. Um, uh, I haven't ridden every roller coaster in the world. In fact, there's I've not ridden very many roller coasters, actually. <laughs> What is that? Oh, okay. I see Ash. Yeah, I'm Diane. I'm thinking on that person that you just missed. I'm thinking go ahead and ram jam because I, that that's a troll. I guarantee you, it's either a troll or a fake account. So just get them out of here. Go just go ahead and, and get them out, Diane. Hi, Tony Adams. Mute and block. Um, hi, S.A. Smith. Thank you. And jog. Hi, Terrence. Thank you for sending li or likes. I started to say thank you for sending likes. No, Ash. Not you. Not you, Ash. The the Diane knows who. Diane and Shelly see know who needs to go. Um. No, Diane, the person you just commented about that, go ahead and just, just go ahead and mute and, and block them because that, that's a fake account or a troll, one or the other. <laughs> Hi, Richard Blankenship. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's obviously, I had one of those last night, actually, that Actually, the only reason I followed them back is <laughs> there was a reason that I followed them back because I was at 9,999 and I thought because there was somebody else that I didn't want to follow back. And this time it wasn't a man, actually. And I didn't want to follow them back, so I wanted to follow somebody so that I would be at 10,000. And um, so I followed this person and they started DMing me. And, you know, I was just going to let it ride and not worry about it. Well, then they kept on sending me messages. And, and so it's like, okay, so I, ha I, I didn't just delete them, I blocked them. And I looked at their page and I thought, before I followed them back, I looked at it and I thought, well, this person looks legit and, you know, I think the trolls are getting better because I know this per I know this person was not really who they said they were because 
and they probably just took somebody else's videos and put on their page and somebody else's profile picture because when people they don't make the common spelling errors and you can tell that English is not their first language you know I'm talking about and I actually was noticing something when I looked at analytics and I'm not going to go through this and try to pick them out as they show themselves I will block them and delete them but something like 10% of my follower of my followers not necessarily people I'm friends with but followers are from Nigeria and and I don't mean to disparage good people from Nigeria but unfortunately that's where a lot of the trolls come from and the fake accounts I know I know sweet pea it's getting harder to tell now some of them are just stupid I, I, I hate to say this but um, the uh, the uh, the women who are on TikTok that have those fake accounts. <laughs> uh, oh man, I, I'm gonna make a comment here that's probably not a good comment to make, but I think it could be true. I think men, and, and there's probably a reason for that. Men probably don't care. They're, they're not as protective they don't have to be as guarded as we do and so I don't think men care they just follow those women back even though they have a picture you know that's very obviously probably not them and they don't even bother to put a name they just have usernames I don't think men care I think they follow them back and don't care they just you know and and where for us they have to be more creative they have to go to a little bit more trouble because you know we learn very quickly <laughs> and we don't want any part of it where i think the men don't care <laughs> yeah hi hollow man hi hollow man Yeah, exactly. I agree, Shelly. I know, I know. And a lot of those people are in Nigeria. Hi, Hollow Man. Sorry, we're... Hollow Man, I don't know if I knew you were from Alabama. I'm sure you've told me that before. I'm sure you've told me that before, but I just didn't remember. I'm so glad to see you, sweetie. So glad to see you. Uh, you know, I think TikTok... Oh, God, get out of here. Um, oh, good, it went away on its own. Yes, Beavs, I know you're from Ohio. Isn't this... Isn't... Beavs, aren't you Peyton? <laughs> I'm calling somebody Peyton. And it may not be Peyton. Hi, John Perone. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for following me. John, I will follow you back. Oh, it's always good to... Well, Peyton, why are you saying you're from Ohio? We know you're from Ohio. Where did that person go? I'm going to... Because there was somebody that followed me, and I was going to go ahead and follow them back from this account. I have no idea who it was. So. But anyway, I, I don't know who it was. Somebody followed me, but I, I didn't see. Um, I don't know how to see that from here. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow Karen from here. And Frank Davis, I will follow you from here too. Yeah, Diane, I was saying I only need seven. Yes. <laughs> Peyton. Oh, you didn't know if other people... Uh, oh, why are you saying that? Because I, I haven't been to see you. <laughs> I just saw you last month. <laughs> yeah, Pey yeah, Shelly. That's who he wrestles for. 
That's who he wrestles for. That's who he will be wrestling for this year. Peyton, stop acting like a troll because you know Shelly and Diane will throw you right out of here. You better, you better behave. My profile pic. What are we talking about? Oh, Peyton. Oh yeah, his profile picture. Peyton, you shouldn't do that. What are you doing with Kaza in your video? Look at him. I, I was just looking at your views on your videos, Peyton. <laughs> oh my God. He, he puts Kaza in one of his videos. Well, I was gonna so, say so he can get more views, but his video, he doesn't have very many, but they all have a lot of views. <laughs> Yeah, Shelly knows. Peyton, you probably should not have a profile picture that tells people where you are, sweetie. Why don't you put a different profile picture so they can't see where you live? I mean, you know, that that's not a good idea. <laughs> Hello, Sidewall76 Slammer and Maggie's Garden. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, I know, but Shelly, Shelly knew where that was. Shelly knew where that was. I mean, Shelly lives in Ohio too, but. Well, I was saying, Shelly, I was saying, yeah, you know the aces. Shelly, I was saying that he, he wrestles, he, he will be wrestling for, for them, but he's also playing football for them. <laughs> yes, yeah, Shelly is from Ohio. Shelly is my friend in real life, Peyton. In fact, the next time I come up there, you can go with me and we'll go see Shelly. He also plays football and baseball for them. Sorry, Peyton. Hi, Mr. Jim Allen. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> cards, Peyton. I have cards. I talked, Diane, I was talking about Iva and she didn't go with me to the pallet store because she's been having trouble with her keeping her blood pressure down. And, um, I know you were, you were in haze. Oh, they are also orange and black. Oh, hi, Bobby Jackets from Pittsburgh. I used to live in Johnson City. I went to Trafford Middle School in Pennsylvania, um, Bobby. Oh, sweet pea. <laughs> yeah, she's not, it's IVA, Diane. <laughs> just, just so you know, Iva Lois. Iva, L-O-I-S, I-V-A, L-O-I-S, but they're first name and middle name. Her name is Iva Lois. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, she, her blood pressure, but, oh yes, I, I know Monroeville. I used to hang out at the Monroeville Mall on Saturdays with my friend when I was in, uh, I think I was in eighth grade. I think I went to eighth grade. Trafford's where I went to eighth grade. How are you wrestling for the sales? Hi, John Blessed Dockery. Thank you for joining us. Hi. Hi, John Eagle and John Santana. My God, we have the John Festival tonight. Uh, yeah. And do you, do you know about the Monroeville Mall being in, you know, that mall in Mor Monroeville? Have you ever seen... The movie Dawn of the Dead, the old Dawn of the Dead from like 1978. It was actually filmed at the Monroeville Mall. Oh, you make custom varsity jackets. Very cool. Oh, you practice with the sales. Oh, well, thank you for pointing out to us that you're super good at wrestling. <laughs> 
I think we all know you're super good at wrestling, Peyton. <laughs> John Blessed Dockery found the shower and he's all banged up. I, I don't know what that means. Yeah, that that's good that you practice with them. Is the sales really, really good at wrestling, Shelly? Do they usually have good wrestling thing? Hi, John Mayall, or John Mayall, myself, Judah. John Mayall, myself, Judah. I have no idea what that means. Oh, John Blassett Dockery fell in the shower and he's all banged up and at the hospital. Um, I'm sorry about that, John. Um, anyway, I'm going to go back to the pallet store. Um, at the pallet store, Diane, they told me that they're only going to have 50 cent days. They're only going to have 50 cent days on one day a month, which isn't that big a deal. But they're going to have one special day a month that's $10 day. And they'll have like really, you know, um, items that, you know, have a value of a couple of hundred dollars, you know, like appliances and that. Oh, did you go check out his jackets? Did you go check him out? Uh, Bobby, where did he go? I'm gonna go ahead and follow Bobby. I'm gonna follow, Bobby, I'm gonna follow you from my alternate account because I can't follow you from my primary account because I'm already at the limit, but I'm gonna go ahead and follow you from there. That's very cool. I like those custom jackets. Um, Shelly, Diane, Ram Jam. <laughs> oh, okay. I know what BRB means. <laughs> I've learned. I know what BRB means. Yeah, you saw it. Um, Oh, no, Bobby, I'm sorry. I don't do that. Diane and I used to, I used to, Diane and I were used to always be live together, and I don't do it anymore because it messes up. For one thing, it messes up the sound and the video quality. And my lives, I load up to, I upload to YouTube, and people watch them on YouTube. Diane, my, some of my lives on YouTube now have over 100 views. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know why people are watching that. Oh, hi, Crystal Star Glenn. I'm going to follow you, Crystal, from, from my alternate account. Um, oh, I'm so glad. Don't you love him? Absolutely love him. Crystal, I don't know if I followed you from my other account, but um, if you follow me on the, the account that you're on my live, because <laughs> I'm, I'm broadcasting my live from here and I'm reading my comments from my alternate account. But anyway, if you follow me on my other live, when I get a follow, I will follow you back. Oh, yes. Yes, I absolutely adore him too. Absolutely adore him, Crystal. I'll, I'll come to your page and watch some of your videos. I can't remember if I've already seen you or not. If you've done any videos with Barry like duets or anything with him, then I've, I'm sure I've seen you. What did you miss, Shelly? What did you miss? I, I'm jumping from one thing to another. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, I talked about Iva, that my Aunt Iva's sick. And remember, I was supposed to be coming to you live from my Aunt Mildred's tonight. Because I was going to go there Tuesday night and stay until tomorrow or Saturday. But it worked out better for her if I wait and come next week. And it didn't make any difference to me. So hopefully next week my live will be, we will have my Aunt Mildred back on my live with me. 
but um, I talked about the pallet store. They are changing up the pallet store, the way they're doing things. They're completely revamping it. And here's why. Because they, they can't keep the store stocked. That's why they're having to change things up. They, by the time they get to, because they're closed on Thursday and, or Friday. Oh, you missed the Ram Jam? Oh, they're gone. <laughs> it was just somebody saying, you know, typical. Um, I am so cynical. <laughs> I am, I am so cynical. <laughs> he was a kid. Hi, Boilermaker Dave. Thank you for joining us. Um, but yeah, you know, I was going to say this. I turned the air up last night. I mean, should have turned it back down before I did my live. It's, it feels a little warm in here. Um, I put it up to 73 instead of 72. <laughs> but anyway, um, I noticed this, you know, like when the economy is really bad, stores like the pallet store and flea markets, their business, their business increases, but they can't keep the store stocked. They, they, they buy their new pallets and put out the new stuff on Saturday. Saturday is when they do that. Well, now by Monday or Tuesday, they got nothing left in the store. And that's kind of how it was when I went there. And I don't know, I guess nobody wanted a tripod or they may not have known what it was. It, it was in a box and that, that and that webcam are the only two things that I found. Hi Paige, hi Paige, thank you for joining us. Hi Justin Angel, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, they, I got that webcam. Oh, and I got a little bottle, one of those little, I can't remember. Mississippi, hi Mississippi avocado. <laughs> avocado chips at your service. That's funny. Um, hi Renee. Hi Renee. Mississippi avocado chips. Mm -hmm. Hi Howard. Thank you for joining us. Howard Scarborough. Um, yeah. So, anyway, they're revamping the way they're going to do the palette. Yes, you did. You did make me smile, Bruce. Absolutely, you did. Hi, Crystal Star. Thank you for uh, thank you for sending likes. Um, so anyway, we'll see how what happens with the palette store. <laughs> I might try to go on Saturday, and my aunt Mildred is going to come here and go with me to the palette store. Oh, is he? Well, Crystal, I understand if you want to leave and go see Barry. <laughs> he has much better lives than I do. <laughs> oh, he is what he is. Well, of course, he's my favorite. <laughs> and he lets me have, he, he lets this be, he lets his music be my theme music. <laughs> oh. That, that's very generous of him to do that. <laughs> but, um, so anyway, I will keep you updated on, on what happens at the pallet store. <laughs> well, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. That's very perceptive of you. I am very grounded. <laughs> but anyway, um, talked about that. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, the song. Oh my God, Shelly, I almost forgot about your song. Why don't we do the song right now and get that out of the way? Um, let me, I'm gonna do the Tanya Tucker song, It's a Little Too Late, Shelly. That's the song I'm gonna do for you. Um, let's do that and get that out of the way. I completely forgot about it. Do I take my glasses off when I sing? I don't think I do, do I? <laughs> Hi, Jay. You're just in time. 
because <laughs> I'm getting ready to sing. I do this every week now. Uh, um, <laughs> Diane, shut up. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> there, there's only 11 people here, Diane. We can't have a mass exodus this time. Um, <laughs> every week I take one of the songs that I did, and I didn't do much this week. I really, I did do the one video, the funny video of Pamela's. <laughs> I keep my glasses on. I Well, look at these suitcases under my eyes where I haven't been sleeping, so I, I need the glasses on. But... <laughs> yeah, you, you may change your change your mind. My, I've got a runny nose again, and I know what it is. It's because I haven't been taking my vitamin C like I should. Let me have a drink of coffee, and um, let let me. I may mess up the lyrics on this. I hope I don't, but if I do, I'll just keep going. Tanya, that's right, Tanya. Ziggy, play It's a Little Too Late. It's a Little Too Late by Tanya Tucker on Amazon Music. <laughs> I think it matter, I ought to just forget about you But it's a little too late Well, it's a little too late When you walked in, I should have walked out But it's a little too late to do the right thing now Well, the whole town told me you're a heartbreak king I ought to pay attention when they say those things But it's a little too late Well, it's a little too late I know all my old buddies want to help me out But it's a little too late to do the right thing now Turn up the hearts up, the folks hold us down I'm too far gone to turn us out Cancel. Ziggy. Cancel. Sorry, I messed up those last lyrics, but when I did my video, I actually didn't sing those lyrics, so I didn't remember them very well. <laughs> yeah, yeehaw. <laughs> I actually like singing with, with, with Tanya Tucker. That is a cute song. I like that song. I've done that song a couple of times. <laughs> oh my god, I'm getting a 10 seconds in, he gives me a hard 8, and he's an audio engineer, that's great. <laughs> yeah, my, my audio setup's not that good, Bruce. <laughs> Hi, veteran, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Hi, Jerry. Hello, Jerry. Mm, can't make out that last name. Thank you for sending me likes, Jerry. Um, so now we have that out of the way. I, I almost forgot about it. What reminded me is I wrote it on my card, or I would have forgotten. And I talked about D Diane's $1,000 for a foot video. <laughs> you know, if somebody offered me $1,000 for a foot or a foot picture, I would just say, show me the money. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> oh, I know what I was going to tell you guys. I'm all in. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, I heard somebody say one time that, yeah, but, you know, that's a slippery slope. You start selling pictures of your feet, and, you know, then, then, and I, I, I thought, yeah, well, you know, I don't worry about that because I don't have anything else anybody would want a picture. 
that, that's about the best I'm gonna do is selling a foot picture. <laughs> Nobody has offered me a thousand dollars for a foot picture. <laughs> It was a video that my friend Diane did. You'll have to go to, Di to Mrs. Johnson's page and see the video. She did a TikTok about it. Now, here was my funny TikTok that I did. I'm going to do it on here because I love it. It was Pamela from Tennessee is the one that originally did it. Where it, Let me think how it starts. She said, well, I wouldn't expect you to understand because you're from the South. And I said, woman, I'm about to teach you how to pluck a chicken. And, oh, I can't think of the rest of it. And she said, I stood up for the South. Yes, I, I dang right I did. Because I am from the South. I'm from the great state of Kentucky. And we're better than you. I'm better than you. I've seen two UFOs. No. God, I can't believe I messed that up so bad. My God, what's wrong with me? I love her. She's hilarious. She's absolutely hilarious. That makes me mad that I can't seem to... I, I don't know why. Maybe I'm still shook up from the singing because that does make me kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bruce. I'm 61, actually. But, no, it was, she said, she said, well, I don't expect you to understand you're from the South. And she said, woman, I'm about to show you how to pluck a chicken. She said, I stood up for the South. You're dang right I did, because I'm from the South. In fact, I'm from the great state of Kentucky, and I'm better than you. I've been on Jerry Springer twice and seen three UFOs. I still can't do it. <laughs> I, I can't do it. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't feel right for some reason. I feel kind of jittery, probably because I'm sitting here guzzling this coffee because I didn't make my coffee until 5.30 this afternoon, Diane. So, oh, there's Katie. Hi, Katie. Thank you so much for the roses, sweetheart. Thank you for coming to see us. Hi, sweetheart. Love you. Love you, sweetheart. No, Katie just reminded me. Hello, sweetie. Um, Katie just reminded me that I had been missing a lot of my friends Love you too, sweetheart. Love you. I've been missing a lot of people that are normally on my FYP. Oh, I... Well, see, Diane, I always sip... You know, I have two cups of coffee a day. In the first cup, I will probably usually have drank by 1 or 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Because remember, I sip it very slowly. And, um, and then I have my second cup, and I'm usually done with that by 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening. And then if I want something more, which I usually do, then I have a cup of tea in the evening, which really isn't giving me any less caffeine, but I sip that. Most of the time when I make that cup of tea at night, it'll still be sitting on my nightstand most of it when I wake up the next morning. And... Um, I do need to write my own joke, Shelly. I need to get a book about joke writing. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry, Katie. So sorry. Another friend of mine uh, went to the Bahamas. Uh, went to the Bahamas and came back, and her and her boyfriend both had COVID when they came back. Oh, Lord. Hi, Patrick Demick. Well, we'll send you, we send, we're sending you our love and, and prayers, Katie. Hi, portal girl. That just reminds me. But anyway, what I was saying about a lot of my friends were missing from my FYP. Well, I've noticed that they've starting. Love you, sweetie. Love you. 
I've noticed that now I'm starting to get my my peeps are starting to come back on my FYP Diane you've been on my FYP twice as a matter of fact and um, but so I couldn't tell when people had actually been off TikTok for a while because I haven't been I don't even see um, Eugene you know two man I haven't seen his videos a lot of people now Jay um, Jay not simple living anymore I can't remember what Jay's new name is but I've noticed now that my peeps are starting to come back on my FYP and so I saw Todd his his screen name and I'll tell you guys to go check him out his screen name is Port Porta de Porto Porto de Vida and, and how that's spelled is P-O-R-T-O. -O. In fact, I'm just going to comment it. I'm going to comment Todd's name here. Oh, crap. I'm going to comment Todd's, the link to Todd's, well, I don't know how to do, I can't do that, I guess. At P O. Sorry, Porta, Porto, I wrote it down so I would make sure I got it right. D-A-V-I, D-A-1-7, there we go. There, I just commented. Oh, it did make it a link. Let's see if it did. Well, crap. Well, I guess it didn't, but anyway. Um because I thought he just hadn't been showing up on my FYP, and I, I hate that, but I can't remember every person. Oh, now I have a new peep. Did I fall? Okay, Bruce, I'm following you from my alternate account right now. Well, oh, that your account, Bruce, your account's private, so I just requested to follow you. Um, from my alternate account because I can't follow people from my primary account. Um, oh, hi, all things spiritual. Thank you for joining us. But anyway, he ha he's the one that does those great rock. Well, not always rock. Sometimes they're country, but he does like artist videos. You know, like he may do... Um, Guns and Roses, and it ha he has a really great video that he puts all together, and he does such a really, really good job, and I always love his videos, but when I went to his page to catch up, because I hadn't seen him for a long time, he only had one, vi one or two videos there that I hadn't seen before, and I haven't seen him for weeks. And so apparently he's he's been off TikTok for a while, but he is one of my TikTok heroes. And we haven't, speaking of that, I haven't seen Johnny Tsunami tonight, my other TikTok hero. Um, but anyway, so if you guys want to go check his videos out, he, 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 I really love his videos. And he's back. <laughs> so talked about the thousand dollar foot pictures on Diane's video and Todd and did the song talked about Iva I again I will probably be coming to you from my Aunt Mildred's next week unless we end up changing it again oh here here's another thing let's see if I got through the other stuff here talked about the pallet store and, and I'll keep you posted on what 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 goes on at the pallet store um, oh, that's what I was getting ready to say. I got a little webcam, Shelly. It's really nice. Really nice webcam that's got its own little tripod and everything at the pallet store. But it needs to plug in to a USB. So, you know, it'd be good for a laptop. Even I guess it's a better quality camera than a built-in camera. I don't know. But for a dollar. <laughs> And I think I've got an adapter that, you know, for a USB to plug into my phone. Although I don't know why I would need, you know, a, a external video camera on my phone. 
don't really know. It's and it's got a microphone too. I might try it and see how it, see what kind of picture quality I get. I can't imagine that it's better than my iPhone though. I know. <laughs> Even if I just give it. Oh, thank thank you, Bruce. That's very nice. Um. Even if I just give it to Zoe, because Zoe could use it with their laptop, because they act, Zach actually still uses their laptop. I, I don't know if he what he does on it, but um, that's why I was telling Shelly I don't really use my laptop for anything. I, I said I have had my laptop out a couple of times, um, probably in the last ten years actually, since I got the first iPad. That's when I stopped using the laptop. But um, I uh, got it out when Jessica's resume only existed on the laptop. And, and I couldn't find it in the files on my phone. I know that I had it on the file, uh, you know, like on, in my um, Word document file. Because I have Word and all of that I have on my phone and my iPad. Thank you, Green. Thank you, Green. Um, and thank you for joining us. Um, but anyway, what was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I have that stuff on my phone and my iPad, but for whatever reason, Jessica's resume had, wasn't still on my phone or my iPad. And so I had to get the laptop out. And because I don't have that laptop, is not hooked up to the internet, hasn't been for 10 years or longer. Um, there's no way I was hooking that up to the internet. It would probably have to go through days and days of updates before I could do anything with it. So all I did was open it up and pull up that Word document and then just sat there with my phone and keyed it all back in. Because I, I, I can type pretty fast on my phone and my iPad. Not as fast as on a keyboard, but yeah. But anyway, so that's where I do all of that stuff. Hello, Concrete Pump. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I didn't get rid of it. It's like in the coat closet. In a, there's like a basket in the floor <laughs> that's got the laptop and all of the crap that goes with the laptop is in that basket in the closet floor. It's got gloves and scarves over top of it. <laughs> but I did get it out to do that to because I didn't want to have to recreate the resume from scratch. I actually could have because I also still had the handwritten notes that Jessica sent me years and years ago to do her original resume with. Thank you, Concrete Pump. That is very, very sweet. I appreciate that. Um, but, um, hello, John Apache. Is that our John Apache? Is that our John Apache? John Camerera? Because <laughs> I see John Apache Six Bears, and that's not John Camerera's screen name. I don't think he's changed it. Um, but anyway, if you're not, hi, John. Hi, John Apache. I'm almost done. I'm almost done, Diane. I'll probably finish up just a little bit after nine because there was something else I was going to mention because I don't want to mention this next week. I just wanted to put it out there. Um, what was I just talking about? Oh yeah, anyway, get away from that. And I did get the laptop out when the power went out. Oh, no, when the, when the internet went down. I got the laptop out, plugged it in, and put a DVD because I do have a, three or four DVDs left. Hello, John. Oh, you're you're new. You've got a new phone, so you now you have a, a a trial TikTok account. Good to see you, sweetie. Good to see you. I will try.
to find one of your videos and do it one of your videos. I know I haven't done that for a long time, but I'm will, I'm gonna try to do that. Um, I haven't been doing much with videos. I I did like I did a, the last probably three or four videos that I've done. I I just. I didn't even do my setup or anything else. I just held the phone in front of me <laughs> and did it. Love you, sweetheart. Love you. And um, no, here's something that I wanted to, to put out there. For anybody who was a Making a Murderer fan, the series on Netflix, and, you know, I've watched, I've been watching documentaries since I was a little girl, but, you know, used to, most of the documentaries that I watched were on PBS. Well, and, you know, and then once cable came along, you know, then we had the History Channel and, you know, and Biography Channel. When Biography Channel first came on, oh my God, I loved those biographies that they did. They were so good. I don't know that they were always truthful. Um, I don't know that they gave you the whole truth. That's what I noticed. If you don't watch documentaries, usually on PBS, the documentaries that they do, uh, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I think we probably have a ram jam there. If no harm, but thank you, Bruce. I go live every Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will try to remember, I will try to remember, because I do a promo every week right before my live, usually about 6.30 or 7 o'clock, and I send it out to a bunch of different people. But thank you so much for joining us. It was good to meet you. Um, <laughs> um, but anyway, I just wanted to, to mention this. That, you know, I love the Making a, Murder, Making a Murderer series that Netflix did, uh, you know, about Steve Avery and, and Brandon Dassey. And... It was such a really great story. You know, he was, for anybody who doesn't know, he was falsely convicted and sent to prison for 18 years. Well, he had just gotten out and, um, thank you, Bruce. Have a good night. And anyway, You, you either know making a murderer or you don't. But I lost sight of something when I was watching Making a Murderer because there's three seasons of it, you know. And I, and I kept saying, when are they going to do a fourth? Because, you know, why are they not getting him and that his nephew out of prison? Why have they not been released from prison? You know, that's how it works, right? When innocent people, when people get falsely accused and 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 convicted and put in prison um, and then a documentary gets done I mean you know we got the West Memphis 3 we got you know how many other people the staircase guy how many other people that that's how it's worked well I lost sight of the fact that Netflix is not PBS and you can do a documentary, I mean, I'm saying this as though other people don't know it, but you know, I lost sight of this, that you can do a documentary and you don't have to lie. All you have to do is leave out certain information to skew it one way or the other. Well, I don't know why I thought Netflix was as credible as PBS. I didn't think that Netflix would make a documentary and leave out pertinent information 
to skew the opinion. But apparently they did because there is this series because uh, there's a whole story behind this too. But anyway, I've, I've, I've deleted HBO Max and Spectrum from my iPad so I have room for Amazon Prime for the app on there because that, it's a huge app. So I didn't have room. Hello there, Crystal Chronicles. <laughs> you don't trust PBS either. Hello there, sweetheart. You know, you have been on my FYP, like on a daily basis. <laughs> ever, since, ever since I followed you from Barry Spears. Hi, Jim. Thank you for joining us. But yeah, but anyway, anyway, I'm... I I guess I'm naive, but I thought Netflix wouldn't do that. You know, I, I trusted Netflix. And I'm not saying P PBS doesn't do it to some extent. Crystal, I, I don't know what your name is, Crystal Chronicles. I don't remember. Is your name Charlie? I can't remember. Well, anyway, um, I know they're not infallible, and I'm not saying that they may not slant it just a little bit to the left, but they don't usually leave out pertinent information that completely skews. Yeah, PBS has changed. PBS has changed. Now, I don't want to get into a debate about PBS because that isn't the point to my story. I'm not saying PBS is infallible. I'm not saying that at all, but I'm saying that the Making a Murderer series on, on Netflix, now I could not understand how anybody could think that those two weren't innocent. That, the, you know, anybody could think that they were guilty when it was so obvious to me that they were framed. And I could even go through the series Sean the Rapper! That's, I knew I saw you. I had you confused with somebody else, but I did, I did, I did see that one of your videos did come up on my FYP. And I was thinking that you were that friend of Barry Spears. <laughs> and now I remember that I saw your name, Sean. I did know that was you, Sean. When I saw your video that came up on my FYP, I did know that. And I was thinking, how does he know about, how does he know about PBS? He's in the UK. <laughs> because the who I had you confused with is in the UK. But anyway, I'm sorry, Sean. I did know that you changed your name. That, that necklace video, that beautiful necklace video, that's what, I, what the video was that I saw. It was absolutely beautiful. Um... But anyway, I've got Prime. I haven't watched Prime for a long time, even though I've always had Prime, because the app wouldn't fit on my iPad. Well, anyway, I was watching this series called Murder Made Me Famous. <laughs> this is what I like. Murder Made Me Famous, and then there's also one called Scandal Made Me Famous, and it actually originated with the channel Reels, R-E-E-L-Z, Reels. You guys probably know what that is. Oh, TikTok. Yeah, I heard that, that a lot of people's names were changed by TikTok. I did hear that. Um, but anyway, I was watching this show called Murder Made Me Famous, and they showed all these, there were probably, I'm gonna say four or five different things that were from the trial and evidence that was presented at the trial. And I mean, they showed the you know testimony in the trial, so I know they weren't making it up. Um, that Netflix left out of their documentary um, that completely changes everything. And, you know, it, 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 
made a much more compelling story to think that that county that that county that they lived in 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 uh, Wisconsin I think I can't even think now thank you Harold Stewart hello there thank you for joining us um, but anyway you know, I really thought that they framed him because they messed up so badly when they put him in prison the first time mistakenly by eight, for 18 years. And then he got out. You know, he, 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 he got out of prison for after 18 years for a crime that he didn't commit. They know he didn't commit that crime. Well, of course, it, of course it is, Sean. Of course it is. Somebody's got an agenda somewhere. I absolutely agree with you. I just I just lose sight of that sometimes. Sometimes I forget it. But anyway, you know, and then he gets out of prison after being wrongfully clicked, convicted, and where the problem came in is because they found out eight years before they let him out of prison that the person that actually did it and confessed to it and had a DNA match was in another prison. And they didn't want to admit that because the fact that they locked up the wrong person left the right person, the actual um, person out and they committed other assaults and on other people while they were out and actually killed somebody, I think. Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, I know they did. Hi, Mingo. Thank you for joining us. Um, but anyway, it was so obvious to me that they had framed him again because he was suing them for $400 million or whatever it was. I can't remember. It was a ridiculous amount of money, $26 million or something. Um, and... When they arrested him for this murder that he's him and his nephew are now in prison for, um, he settled out of court with them for four hundred and something thousand dollars so he could pay his lawyers. Well, anyway, when Netflix did that documentary, they left out these very key things in this, you know, out of the Netflix making a murderer that completely change your opinion. I mean, just completely, I, I now believe that the reason he's not out of prison, him and his nephew, is probably because they did it. <laughs> but anyway, I would have never thought that before. I would have never thought that because, I mean, yes, I do love my murder shows and my serial murder shows. I do love those shows, but I don't usually dig into it and I'm not doing any outside research. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not that into it <laughs> that I'm actually researching. <laughs> I did actually do a YouTube video about making a murderer where I used clips from the TV show you know, I recorded it off my iPad, you know, and on my phone and did a YouTube video where I pointed out these things like, yeah, this couldn't have happened this way because of this. And uh, that was, I had three of those or two of those videos that I had done. Actually, I had three of them that I had done about making a murderer on YouTube. Yeah, well, one of them got taken down and I got a violation and I'm like, oh my God. So I hurried up and took the other two down before I got two more violations because three strikes and they would have taken my YouTube channel down. And um, unfortunately, all of the kids, you know, like from the time Zoe and Carter were born, I've been making YouTube videos of them. All those videos only exist on YouTube. So... That would be horrible. So, I hope you nothing ever happens to YouTube because if it does, 
that's all gone. <laughs> oh my god. Who is, um, I, I can't pronounce the name, Sean. I can't pronounce that name. Mm, mm. Mama Abu Jamal. Mm. I don't know who that is. It sounds familiar, but I, I don't know who that is. Hi, shitty vitty man. Thank you for <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, shitty vitty man. It's shitty. I'm not saying what you think I'm saying. <laughs> Hi, Vic Mac. Thank you for joining us. But I promised Diane that I wouldn't go much over, much over, uh, or much past nine o'clock. And the only thing I didn't talk about was I wanted to talk about the making a murderer thing tonight because I don't want to be talking about that when I'm with my Aunt Mildred next week. Because hopefully I'll be coming to you from my Aunt Mildred's next week and she will be joining me. <laughs> Remember, my Aunt Mildred is 81 years old. And um, she doesn't look a day over 60. <laughs> I don't think anyway. But um, so I'm going to go ahead and go and 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 cross your fingers that I get to go to Lake Cumberland next week so that my Aunt Mildred can join us. And you know, I was, I had this little hope, Diane, because, because, <laughs> thank you, Diane. I have this little hope that Zach might pop in. <laughs> That Zach might pop in here for us, like, you know, come to the door while I'm on my live. I, I was hoping that he might do that, but of course he didn't. He's got real stuff to do. But hopefully next week we'll have a special guest and we'll be coming to you from an alternate location. <laughs> Love y'all. And like I always say, I want this to be your favorite TT show every Thursday night. So I'll see you here next week, same time, same station. Love y'all. Love y'all. <laughs>